Hi, I'm Brandon with Boomer Music Company Repair Services, and I'm fortunate to be here with Gina of Gina's Flutes today. Today we're going to go over what to look for when buying a quality used instrument. Particularly today it's going to be about saxophones. So right here I have a Yamaha saxophone. This is a great quality instrument. Um, the brand you're going to find right here with uh, student instruments. And if you're looking for the serial number, they're going to be along here on the back. Other quality instruments to look, uh, look at, so far as quality brands, uh, is Vito, Cannonball, uh, P. Marriott, uh, Selmer, and such like that. Um, there's a lot of brands on the internet today um, that are not really brands. And what do I mean by that? It's if they have parts to able to support their brand. So any major manufacturer will have parts that you can buy for a repair tech to actually work on it. So if a manufacturer doesn't stand behind their product, you're going to have a difficult time to find a tech to be able to work on it. Right here, um, you'll have different segments of it. So you'll have the mouthpiece. They will typically come with a mouthpiece cap. This is called a ligature, which holds the reed onto the mouthpiece, and of course the mouthpiece. Then you will put neck uh, cork grease right here on the neck cork before putting this on. So we don't need it to be hard, difficult to put the mouthpiece onto the neck. The neck comes off, and then when you go to put it on, you're going to make sure it fits in there well and secure and you don't need to over tighten the neck screw here so it can hold the neck into place. It's very important to see that it is round much like in another video you'll see in the flutes where the neck tenon and the receiver is round. If there's any distortion to that then that will be a leak. Okay so now I would like to talk about uh, the mechanics and the organics of a saxophone. As you can tell, there is a lot of moving parts on a saxophone. It's actually pretty complicated. But one of the things that you want to see in a good quality saxophone is the fit and function of the instrument. So what I'm talking about is, is there any key uh, movement in between posts? So this horn is very tight which helps for a very stable play condition for your instrument. Is any of the keys binding? All these keys spring back up very easily. Uh, so far as the body is concerned, is there any major dents? The closer you are to the mouth, the bigger the difference is going to make. So if you have a really big dent in the neck, it's going to make it very difficult to play the instrument well. Is there any pitting? This has a very, Yamaha uses a really good lacquer, uh, but you may find with some of the older instruments you may have some pitting, so depending on the condition, that environment that they've been in. What is the pitting? It also can be considered what's called red rot. So basically it's a little bit of pores of the brass. So we want to have a, a good fitting, a uh, good finish here. The other aspect is the organics. So what do I mean by that? Primarily with any woodwind, you're going to have your mechanics, as we just discussed, but you're also going to have your organics. Your organics are going to be key corks, it's going to be felts, and it's going to be pads. With pads, let me show you an example here. This is what a new pad looks like. And we may get a closer up view here in just a moment. But it's going to be a cardboard backing, then it's going to have felt, then wrapped in leather, and then it's going to have some sort of a resonator. This one happens to be a plastic resonator. This is a new pad, so you can tell that it's in a really good condition. These are a couple of pads I just pulled out of uh, some saxophones here recently. This one has a metal resonator, but you may be able to tell that it's a darkened pad. Uh, the leather, just like any leather, it can start getting hard and it's not subtle enough to actually seal over a tone hole. I'm going to show you a very extreme case 
of wear and tear is this one, there is no leather at all on the pad. So this will not hold a seal whatsoever. So what you're going to be looking for are newer pads that can actually hold a seal. And I will demonstrate to what it should look like using what's called a leak light and put it into a saxophone. Okay, so I'm here with two examples of some alto saxophones with the leak light that I had mentioned before. Hopefully we can capture this on video, uh, but this is to demonstrate what we talked about previously about the pad materials and how they can age. I don't know if we see these any better. And a newer pad. So over here we have an older saxophone. It's been dented in. This is before having worked on it. But you can see a little bit of deterioration of the lacquer. Various dents through the instrument. But it also has much older pads on it. Now for demonstration purposes, I took off the palm keys here so we can see this upper stack here. One of the things mentioned is about keys not binding. This particular key right here is your G and it's not coming back up like it's supposed to. If we look at this instrument here, I can press and it springs right back open. Now, when closing the pads with your fingers, it'd be one, two, and three for the upper stack and that's what we're going to demonstrate here. So they have combinations. So when I'm pressing here, I'm not sure if it can pick up or not, but right here I feel resistance and you see light coming through it, which constitutes as a leak. If I go press the next key, it actually triggers three pads. So when I feel resistance, it's leaking really bad over here, which you probably can't see, but for the purposes of this demonstration, you will know that as air comes through the tube of the instrument, it will go out the next hole that's leaking. It will accumulate and snowball throughout the instrument as you're going through the instrument here and get harder and harder to play. For a lot of your lower tones, you also hear it on some of the overtone series. Now with this instrument here, if we can notice, we'll stick the leak light in here and we notice the condition of the instrument is much better. As shown before, it's not having, it does not have a binding key. And if we go to press, notice that both are sealing. Go to the next key, it's pressing all three and it's sealing here. So this will help your child or yourself to succeed in playing music. Okay, so now we reviewed of what is a good quality brand instrument and we looked at some aspects of what to look for in a good quality used instrument. So if you have a family member like grandpa or grandma or aunt or uncle that have played in the past or a neighbor that's played that's allowing you to use the instrument, that's great, but it may take a lot of work to put in a really good play condition. So if it's been sitting for 20, 30 years, more than likely it's going to need a repad at least. Repads can start in the ballpark with an alto saxophone starting around $600 and up, just depending on what it needs. So we always want to factor in these aspects when we're looking for value. Um, so with Gina's Flutes at ginasflutes.com, you can check to see what the current pricing is of what she has and she's always out to make sure that all the instruments are in excellent playing condition because she cares about your child or yourself to have a great musical experience. It's very tough and very difficult and I see it all the time as a repair tech that kids are having troubles playing their instrument and they don't know that it's not them. So a lot of times they get frustrated and a lot of times unfortunately quit playing music. It's my job and I have a deep passion to make sure that every instrument comes out playing very well. It's very common that I see a child that comes in, they can't play it, and after the repairs, the common response is, you mean it wasn't me? And that 
to me is a big, makes a big impact on my life. So I would like to say thank you on behalf of Boomer Music Company and the repair services here and with Janice Flutes that you have an awesome time having fun making music. Thank you so much.